Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. Welcome to Applications of Deep Neural Networks with Washington University. This is Module 12, Deep Learning for Information Assurance and Security, Part 2, the KDD99 Dataset. First of all, the KDD Cup 1999 Dataset, you can find it at this website here, which is just, just do a Google on KDD Cup 1999. This website, which coincidentally looks like it's from 1999, is where the data are hosted for this. So this is part of the, um, the UCI, University of California, Irvine, and this shows you the data set. So this is a data set that in its full glory is around 750 megabytes. We'll use the 10% subset, which is this, this file, which is around 75 megabytes. I already have this downloaded to my, uh, to my instance, and we can take a look at this. You can certainly use the larger, um, the larger version of it. That might even be a good GPU benchmark. So we'll go ahead and run the code that corresponds to this, to this module. I can run the code here. I'm going to run the helpful functions like I always do. These are the libraries that we need. We are going to do this in Pandas and Keras. And now we're going to analyze it. So this is the analyze function. We saw this in a previous module. Uh, this is a function that, that I've provided that can very quickly analyze a data set and let you gain some, some quick insight into it. So let's go ahead and run it for this data set. Takes it a moment, but not too long. So it tells you the output from the data. It's uh, 494k rows, and it gives you some um, information on it. So like duration, there are a total of uh, 2495 different values for that. You can also see the relative breakup. So like of the protocol types, ICMP is 57%, TCP is 38, and UDP is fairly rare at 4.21. These are all of the services. So you, you have a lot of routing services, HTTP is a decent amount, SMTP, and, and others. And then it shows you just information about all the rest of the data. And using this, you can get an idea of how you're going to encode these. Are you encoding them as dummy variables? Are you z-score encoding them? How to really do that? If you see values like this, where there's not too many of these, of these service names, this is probably a good candidate for dummy variables. So we're going to encode it. Now, one annoying thing about the data that comes in for this is there are no there's no column headers. So we basically create those for it. We, um, we generate the column headings as though they were there in the file. So here we, we read in the data set. And we also print out the first five rows, which you can see here. Now this scrolls across, but these are all the data that we are basically looking at for, for this data set. The next thing we're going to do is encode the feature vector. So I sat down with the output for my analyze function and I made some decisions on how I was going to encode these. Things like the duration, it's numeric, so we're going to z-score it. Um, protocol type, service, and the flags, those were all text categorical values. So we simply encode those as dummy variables. And we have them all here. I'm going to go ahead and run this. It takes it, takes it a moment because it's got to go through all of the data. OK, it's completed. And we see the, the, these rows again, but you can see the dummy variables. And you can also see that there's not too many fields for it to, for it to display, but flags, the different flags, land, zero, logged in, and the rest of these you can see are clearly z-scores. 
now that we have that completely loaded into memory, we can essentially train the neural network. I'm going to go ahead and train it. Now we are using early stopping and we also um, basically make sure that we get the weights from the neural network that perform the best before we early stop. Because we early stop when the when the error is no longer improving, but we want to get the neural network that had the last best result. So we'll go ahead and run this. Okay, it early stopped and the neural network is now trained. And we reloaded the neural network that had the best weights, so we can now make use of that one and get the prediction accuracy. The prediction accuracy is extremely good for this data set. It's 0 0.99, uh, so 99% accuracy. So it is, it is doing quite well. This is just an example of essentially the hello world of, of security problems. It is classifying basically threats that are identified as here are all of the threats that, that it, it finds. Smurf is 54%, Neptune 21%, Normal 19 So there were actually some attacks that became more common than normal. Now this was created in a simulated environment with all kinds of attacks running around. So you can read about how exactly these data were generated, but this shows you essentially um, how to set up a very basic intrusion detection system sort of error with, or sort of, of neural network and train it with deep, with deep learning. All right, this is the end of this part.